All right, we are continuing this. We are live. I'm going to flip over to YouTube real fast just to make sure that this is working. So if you're rejoining me, just bear with me because this is all spur of the moment. <coughs> and um, was not planning to all be. Spur of the moment. Yep, we are live. Okay, so let's get that out the way. All right, so I'm going to bring up the comments. So we're waiting for that guy, Drew Titan, to rejoin. Um, as soon as he messages, I'll put the link out there for him to join, and then we could talk on here because um, if that is really him. All right, so let's do this. See if this is really him. And not a troll. Because one thing I'm not going to do is talk to a troll. And, and treat the troll as if it is him. And hold him accountable for what a troll did. Because obviously a troll was being held accountable for what I did not do. What's going on? What's good? How you doing? I'm doing well. Well, first of all, you sick, brother? I've, I've been sick since Saturday with a really high fever. <clears throat> it's not, and I'm not being funny when I say this. It's not COVID, is it? And I'm being serious. I got tested for it actually yesterday. I don't have the results yet. I can tell you that it don't feel like the flu. I've got muscle aches all over my body. My joints hurt. My bones hurt. It feels like I've been beat with baseball bats and I don't feel like sick in the sense of like woozy. This is a whole different type of sickness. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know. But I, I'm you, on. You was, test, you was tested though. Yeah, I got tested yesterday. <clears throat> All right. You've been feeling like that for how long? About a week? Since since Saturday, it Saturday? really kicked off. Yeah. All right. Well, <clears throat> first and foremost, um, I don't play with that thing. Um, <laughs> I lost four people very close to me to COVID. I hope you do not have it. I don't wish that on no person. I lost four people very close to me. I don't play with that thing. I hear you coughing now. Okay, you de all right, let me let me go and say, you're definitely not the dude that I've been hearing on Fred's show. So let's get that out the way. <coughs> definitely. But, but, but that dude does sound like you. See, that, and guy, I just, that, that guy's definitely an imposter. And the reason <clears> why, the reason why, now, let me explain to you where this comes from. I'm listening. I heard you on BFTB show. Now, I'm listening to it, and I'm like, I swear to God, that sounds like that guy that called Fred's show. <clears throat> and the reason why I said, you're, you're a white male. And by the way, you're military, right? Ex-military. Ex-military. <clears throat> Thank you for your service. I just wanted to say that because I'm not volunteering to have rockets and bullets flying over my head, not doing it. So thank you for your service, okay? Um, so I'm listening to this dude and I'm like, why does that sound like this dude that Fred nicknamed Super Coon? Dogs, if you go back and listen to the show that guy calls, he sounds just like you. So I listened to it uh -huh. and when that started the last live, I was playing it with me talking to me personally. It sounds nothing like me. I don't I don't hear it, but that's me listening to somebody who's supposedly me. So, of course, to me, it's not going to sound like me at all because I know it's not. Right. Um, and the reason the reason why not to cut you off, because this is your show, not to cut you off. Um, the dude always calls. And. He never beams in. Now, I'm listening to you talk right now, all right? I got a lot of friends like you that are white. Some of them are of German descent. Hold on one second. I'm sorry, brother. <clears throat> Thank you. Then I'll call you right back. I'll, get, I'll be right back. Um, And being that they all came up in the area of the Bronx where I'm from, we all like sounded like they grew up listening to hip hop and rap music and stuff like that. So their tone, they speak like how I speak. You know what I mean? So if you put them on the phone, you won't you won't 
be able to tell who you're talking to if you get what i'm saying like if i'm listening to you if i never saw your face i would have to listen carefully because you sound like a brother so, have you heard that before so here's the deal yeah go ahead whether i am fully caucasian or not is irrelevant because i don't bring up race into any no 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 i know no no know. No, no 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 let me finish so i'm on with it no no go ahead so yes i could be a hundred percent white or you could be very far off you do not know because i don't bring it up period all i say is i am greek that is all i say but as far as ethnicity goes i don't get into it because i don't bring it up my channel is not about it and anything that deals with race i don't deal with because youtube is a cesspool for all of that bullshit and i don't play with the bullshit, so we don't go through it now moving past that i don't care about that my thing is this we are addressing this person who supposedly me first off i've never even called in the barbershop conversation once i've never first off i would never call in with my phone i would do a stream yard or something like that so mm -hmm. that's first and foremost because here's the problem people it will take your number when they don't like you and give it to a million other people and now you got to change your fucking number because you have a million trolls calling you so i'm not stupid enough to give out my actual phone number by calling somebody like that that's, that's first and foremost so again i don't know where this came from or why i understand what you're trying to say that you you thought it sounded like me but in the snippet that i heard i don't know how much history you and that caller have y'all may have spoken several times Oh, yeah. this, this is the only one that was brought up to my attention. And as I was showing how I found the dude talking and you were calling him by my name and not once did he refute it. I was saying that in the last video I had going live. That's an issue, too. Yes. Um, here's the deal. You obviously knew my name and my channel because you uh -huh. said you put out the leak. link. Sorry hard to talk sick that's okay you put, out you, put out you put out the link so if you were had this many conversations with this person then why wouldn't you just come to me directly versus telling a whole bunch of audience members who probably don't even know who the fuck i am that this is me and painting me into a narrative that doesn't fit me did you get any new subs because that was also the goal like maybe a couple okay i'm glad <clears throat> yeah the reason why I did that because I this this is the only way I knew how to reach out to you. I don't know when you go online. I don't know how to contact you. You can and, listen. And this is our conversation. This is how I did it. So now we're talking. But this is what I don't understand. If you wanted to talk to me, you could just message me on my channel. Like here's one thing about me versus people who have channels, okay? I appreciate views that I get, whether they're for me or against me. In other words, even if you troll the fuck out of me, I may troll you back, but I give you the time of day to respond because you've wrote to me. All these mm -hmm. little, all these soy boys, these fuck boys that have been messaging me all day, I've been responding to each and every one of them. And, mm -hmm. and that's the thing about it. Like if you would have came to me directly versus other people telling me all this bullshit, I would have gave you the time, but again, to to come back full circle before this the only time i've ever even heard your name was over on coach malachi's channel to where he mentioned something about you being a a police officer and that's pretty much it they, I, I i'm gonna be honest i didn't even know who you were because mm -hmm. my presence on youtube i don't go to that many different channels like i go to a few and those are the ones I stick to. You know what I mean? I'm not out here searching mm -hmm. for people who talk about this, people who talk about that. If I wanted to listen to a whole bunch of different people talk, then why the fuck I got my own channel to talk about it? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So there, there are other channels like say H Money or Unrivaled Boxing Talk, even though I haven't been on there in a long time, Ring IQ, BFTV, who you said you heard me on. We go yep. back, way back before youtube like we used to talk on on google hangouts in, in boxing threads agree disagree far back history 
but I'm not out there searching for new channels. So again, no disrespect to you. You may have more subs than me. You may have more views than me. I don't know because I've never watched your content. I did message you on a video telling you like, bro, do you, cause I didn't even know that you knew who I was. Where at? <clears throat> What's up? You said you messaged me? When? Yeah, I messaged you probably now about 30, 35 minutes ago. Oh, okay. I don't even see, how does that work? I don't even know how, to be honest, all of this YouTube with the studio and shit, I'm very limited on that. So when you say message me, I don't know how that works. The only way I knew how to contact you was the way I did it. Was the I'm way not, I did it. And I, and I wanted to talk to you. I'm not and understanding. I'm not understanding what you mean by the only way that you contact me. You said, you said message. giving you a link? No, I'm talking about like, you said messaging. What does that mean? Is it like a... Like no, 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 no. Not like a direct message. You what I mean by that is on one of your videos, I left a message. Oh, on one of my videos. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's what you, okay. All right. Well, yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't mean directly I message mean, you or right, email well, you or any of that. Here's, here's the deal. And and believe me, I'm glad we're speaking now. Um, The history with, with that fella and I, just to give you a background, um, that fella was very disrespectful to one of the OGs on, on the show. I mean, it was just like ridiculous. And he's a troll. So I'm listening to the dude. And of course, you know, we support Wilder heavily. And um, I know you don't. You have your opinion, and that's fine. I have no problem with your opinion. You are entitled to it. You're a grown ass man. I ain't got no beef. Fuck that. I don't care about none of that. That's cool. All right. Where the problem comes from, that caller took it a step further, talking about he beat people ass and all this, that, and the third. I said, yo, come on, dog. You ain't got to, you know, now you're going somewhere else. So then he's disrespecting the OG. He disrespected the, the, the audience. He disrespected everything. So that was all I could stand. So about like last year, I called up while well, I beamed in and I gave him the work. Boom, he hang up the phone. So every now and again, he would call back. And every time he called back, he'd say some nonsense and I'd beam in. Boom, he leaves. That's been going on for a little while now. He stopped for a while and he came back. Yesterday, same thing. And as soon as I beam in, now you see what I did do was I brought it down a notch. I'm not on this, yo, I beat your ass, da, 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 da. I said, let me not do that there. Let me not do that there. What I did do, I said, look, you know, we're going to Vegas now. Every time he said, I mentioned Vegas, you saw, oh, I'm going to run up on Drew Titan and snatch his throat. Whatever he said he's going to do, fine. You want to do that, fine. Good luck to you. It's not going to work out, but fine. So I said, here's what we do. I'll be in Vegas that Friday. We can have... Uh, uh, exercise competition, most push-ups, most sit-ups, most dips, most pull-ups. And, you know, because he said that he's some sort of super athlete. The dude literally said, I can jog in place and the audience will form around me. I said, dogs, come on. I'll challenge you to that then. Forget the fighting and all that other nonsense. I'm beyond that because you and I both know that 99.9% .9 of these people on this YouTube shit have trash. You know that. So I, I understand now that I know it's you, not you, now we can have a conversation. I can tell you where, it's, where it stems from. It sounded like you, and in reference to Wilder, y'all had the exact same talking points. Well, so I said, wait a minute, this this dude, they sound alike. So the only way to get in contact with you was doing what I did last night. So then you did it, now we're talking. I didn't know how else to contact you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through other measures that I know how to do to track down somebody because it's not that serious you understand what i'm saying and not you. it's not you that dude though he never beams in and he's letting the n-word oh, what is wrong with you nigga this nigga that i'm a sellout you're not even really black you're 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 a light skin i said well beam in and show me how black you are why you never saw your face it is impossible for a dude with a with a bulk eye like that not to have a social media so he's bullshitting from the sidelines and I took offense to it. And I swear to God, that shit sounded just like you. Everybody hit me up. He's like, yo, is that the same guy that was on BFTV? And I said, I swear to God, it sounds like him. I swear yeah. to God, it sounds like him. I didn't know how else to get in contact with you. I don't know when you go live. 
I don't know nothing. See, see, here's the thing, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say this. There's a lot of people that this is their life. This is all they have in their life is the end. Yes. Life, right. Yes. Now, here's the thing about it. I understand what you're saying, that you felt like that was the only way that you could get me to respond so you could get in contact with me directly. However, you have to understand, I'm not that type of person. OK, but I could have been. And if I was, then you just started something with somebody that you had nothing to begin with. You, you know what I'm saying? Like shit could spin out of control very quickly over nothing that you made for a different reason, but it may never get to this point. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not that, I, I understand what this is and I don't care about that other stuff. As far as people saying that they're super athletes, they can fight, they can do this. If you can do it nine times out of 10, you just do it. You don't have to sit there and tell people what you can and cannot do. And, no. um, you know, there's videos I have taken down off of my channel. There have been certain occasions through YouTube to mm -hmm. where I was a little bit younger, a little bit newer to YouTube. And mm -hmm. people called me out to like fights. Like you said that that dude did. You told him you was in Vegas. You showed up. He did not. But nah, so I was going to Vegas. I was going to be well, in Vegas. You know I'm just saying in general. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whether you went or not, you said that you was going, and then yeah. it kind of fell through from there because the yeah. dude may have had an oh shit moment. Well, yeah. you know, yeah. I've also had a, occurrences like that to where I've actually shown up to the fucking places where they told me to, right there, <laughs> live streamed it right there. So, <laughs> no yeah, show, right? No shows, always <laughs> no show. That's why I don't meet up anymore. Like it's pointless. <laughs> but, but the point is not to say that. I'm this or I'm that or I will do this is that people who will do something will just do it. They don't need to talk about it. You mm -hmm. say you want to meet in Vegas. Okay, boom. We're in Vegas. Where mm -hmm. you at? I'm here. Like you said, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But moving past that, all, my only point to you is I'm sick. I don't have a lot of energy right now. Mm -hmm. And I just made it because I have all these people telling me I'm this, I'm that. And they don't even know shit about me because here's the thing about it. You could say all day I'm white, right? But mm -hmm. you have no idea <laughs> what the ethnicity of my parents actually are. You don't know what percentage of what I could actually be. You don't. Mm -hmm. And I don't talk about it. And it's irrelevant. I could be a thousand percent white or I could have some mixture in me that you don't even fucking know about. But it's irrelevant because mm -hmm. to bring stuff up like that is yep. to base who you are off of race. And I don't care about that. That, that. This is all about your ideas. Do they do they reign supreme or do they fall short? Now, as far as like hating Wilder goes, Wilder to me is a, a mixed bag. Um, no, 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 bro, 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 bro. No, 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 no. I'm I, I got you. You, you, you no, gotta... no, 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 because there's gonna be other people that listen to this that are huge fanboys of his. It, it's fine. Gonna... It's fine. We, we, bro. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna detour, but I want to say this. As far as Wilder goes, for me, it always has been a mixed bag. Wilder is that type of person that you like, you hate, you hate the like, and you like the hate. So, in other words. You're going to have many different feelings with this person the longer you see them. And I have gone from liking Wilder to not liking him to liking him to not liking him to liking him. It's like anybody. It's fluid. People can do things that you like and change your opinion. People could do things that you don't like and make your opinion change again. So I've never had anything against him personally. Now, we can move past that, but... That's all I'm saying with him. I've made good videos about him and I made bad videos about him. I saw. I saw. I saw. That's how I know this is not you. You're not the dude, Fred nicknamed him Super Coon, by the way. And I told Fred, I said, that guy's not black. I can hear it. That guy's not black. And I said, beam in. He's the one that got named that. And then he has all this negative. He's questioning my blackness. So I said, well, bring your black ass on here so we can see who we talking to. And he's never done it. All right. So now the dude did sound like you. All right. People would hit me up. Say, yo, I swear that's him. I said, 
I don't know. It does sound like him. I didn't know how else to reach you. I don't know how often you check your, your comments. I don't, I don't know if there's like a DM version on this. To be very honest, I'm still new to this, working this YouTube thing. So it's not you. I'm glad it's not you. All right. I'm going to apologize to you right here. I'm going to apologize. Yeah, y'all, I don't even see the comment section. Y'all ain't see that shit coming, did you? Y'all ain't see that shit coming, did you? Now, now, um, I know there's people in here that don't like me, um, and that's fine. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not even reading the comments. I'm just no, no doubt. No doubt. I'm not reading them either, and I'm not reading them for a reason, but I will say this. I want you guys to take note. This is a grown-ass man talking to another grown-ass man, and this is how we handle it. You see, you see, this is how it's happening. You understand? This is how grown men handle their business. A boxing opinion is just that. A lot of you motherfuckers cross the line when you think you're getting that fucking ring. Stop it, dude. This is just boxing talk. And that dude that calls Fred's show, he's out of line and out of pockets. I can give a fuck about his opinion on any fighter. But he crossed the fucking line when he said he's going to put these mitts on me. Now, I swore to God it was Tony. It's not. So now the air is clear. It's not. And the person that reached out to Tony and let him know that you did right. You did right because that's what I needed you to do. You did right. And now two grown ass men are talking. Tony is entitled to his opinion. And I'm entitled to mine. There is no drama. All right. Now that dude. There's drama with him because of what he said he was going to do to me personally. It has nothing to do with boxing. What he said he's going to do to me personally. Personally. All right. So that's what that is. It has nothing to do with boxing. I'm not fighting over no fighter. But when you cross the line, you cross the line when you say you're going to do something to me personally. And this is just boxing talk. I didn't know it was that damn serious, but whatever. Whatever. I don't get down like that. Well, I'll give you an example real fast. And I want to say this before I give that example. I appreciate and I thank you for apologizing to me because that's a big step. That shows a lot of respect. And I respect you for that. You know, like I said, I'm not reading the chat. People have their own mindset. I don't judge other people by what other people think about them. I just judge them by the interactions that I have with them. Unless you go off and like touch a child, that's the only way it would change my opinion. But gotcha. yep. I can only judge you off of what I know from personal interactions. So yep. I, I thank you for that. I, I respect you for that fully. Um, now, as far as like people talking personal stuff, see th this is a thing that happened a while back with um, BFTB. Oh, me and him, same thing like with Wilder, you know what I'm saying? Where you like, dislike each other, whatever. We've been very back and forth, hot and cold, but always have talked, you know what I mean? Yeah. Off and on. Um, when people were doxing him, you know, I reached out to him because to me, that's ridiculous because here's the thing about it. You don't know about people's households. Like, people are crazy over the internet. They get mm -hmm. emotional and they do things. Well, let's say that you know, somebody gives out your personal information. They may be coming looking for you, but you might have kids in the house or you might have a wife or a girl in the house or mm -hmm. whatever. And now somebody else gets hurt over some bullshit. People don't think things through when they do things like that. That's I why know. I disagreed with all of that. But um, I'm not going to stay on for too much longer because if I felt better, I would. Okay. But. I do appreciate you actually coming here. I didn't know if it was really you or a troll because as you see how trolls work, that's why we're here right now. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah like there's no issues between me and you. Exactly. Tony, let me say this. Let me say this to add what you're saying. Everything you're saying is 100. Let me add to this. We live in an era on the social media. There are people that um, get off on chaos. All right. Now, I, like I said, I don't I don't know how many views this is going to get. I don't know how much. I don't know. I have this. I'll, I'll look out of curiosity, but it had to be meant to be because for some reason you popped up in my algorithm and it said live. That's why I jumped on and was able to respond so fast. OK, um, but people exist off of chaos. It's organized confusion. I'm LDBC. People don't like me. And that comes with the territory. I don't care. I'm here to talk boxing. I'm not here to talk to everybody else. 
I'm not here to fight and get into shit matches with everybody over a boxing opinion. My opinion is my opinion. You have your own ch channel. It's successful. Kudos to you. That's great work you do in, in, in the gym. We should we should talk about that. I saw that. I saw your growth. That's dope. Um, but there's people that exist for organized confusion. And I like doing things like this because we can agree to disagree, but not be at each other's throats fighting. You understand what I'm saying? We ain't got to be enemies. You, don't, you, you, you have a hot and cold relationship with Deontay. That's fine. But that don't mean I got to hate you personally. I'm not taking this personally. You understand what I'm saying? So once again, and this is this is the shot I'm going to take. This shot I'm going to take. All right. Not at you, but I want, I'm going to give this as an example. I'm on your show. All right. I made a mistake thinking you were somebody else. All right. We're talking when having a conversation. A conversation. Now, watch this because I know I got a lot of haters watching. This is the second non black person I've talked to, and the conversation is just fine and the air is clear, and we can still agree to disagree on boxing. Why is it that I still got this drama with my brothers? Huh? Huh? A majority of these death threats and threatens of violence comes from who? Hmm? This man didn't threaten me not one time. Mike from Boston hasn't threatened me not one time. Huh? What y'all gonna do about that? Huh? Y'all still mad about a car fire comment that I told Sugar Hill to his face and I put it in context and I told him straight like this, if you have nothing to do with what I think it did, then fine. But I do hope you understand the term in concert. That's what I said to the man. Y'all still mad at that? And why is it that I can talk to Mike from Boston and Tony Dreviews and the air's clear, but I'm still getting all these threats of violence from my brothers? Hmm? Talk to me. Well, you know what? Don't even bother. Yo, Tony, get some rest. Thank you for your service to the country. I appreciate you for you having me on. I'm glad we cleared the air. I'm glad you're not that guy. All right, that guy's still plotting my death or something. I don't know what he's doing. It's irrelevant. But Tony, get well soon. I hope you do not have COVID. All right, that's great work you do in the gym. I'm going to subscribe to your channel. Okay, and uh, it's all peace moving on. Dick? And I appreciate that. The only thing I can ask from you is next time you are on barbershop, just pass that along to that audience. You know yes, what I mean? Sir. Because it's gonna be a lot more eyes over there yes, than sir. there are here. And um, yeah, anytime that, that you think something is me, just come to me and we could talk just like this, no issue at all. You know, if you want to jump on one of my lives you're more than welcome to be on one of my lives absolutely and, and vice versa absolutely yeah yeah if i see you on a live i'll sub to you as well you know when i'm feeling better at least yeah get bro I, get well man get i'll well. jump on one of your lives if i see you live but um i do appreciate you coming over here and saying what you've said and to anybody listening i have no issues with this man and it sounds like he has not with me None. and <laughs> and that's what it is y'all so if, if there was a fight everybody was looking for, they're not going to get it. We are, we have cleared the air. It is all it's good. Clear. As a matter of fact, when you get well, I'm, be, I'm, I'm back on my grind in the exercising field. And uh, you look like you really need to be on that panel because you obviously know what you're doing. All right, man. I'll, like I said, I'll sub to you. And when I see it, I'll, I'll hop over there. But um, on that note, we're going to end it here. And I'm going to just take it easy. No doubt. Relax, family. All right, man. Have a good day. Peace.